Faith of sinners, salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept, I woke, for the Lord will help me. Κύριε μη το θυμό σου λέξεις με, μη δέτει ορίε σου παιδεύσεις με, ότι τα βέλη σου εν πάει σάμι και με στήριξες επί με τη χείρα σου. Ουκέ στην ία σεις εν σαρκή μου από προσώπου της οργής σου, ουκέ στην ειρήνη εν της οστέας μου από προσώπου των αμαρτιών μου. Ότι η ανομία μου περίραν την κεφαλή μου, όσοι φορτίων βαρύ βαρύντησαν επί με, προσώσασαν και σάπησαν οι μολοπές μου από προσώπου της αφροσύνης μου. Τα λεπόρισα και κατοικάνω την έω τέλο όλη την ημέρα και τροπάζουν οι πορευόμοι. Ότι οι ψώμοι πλήστησαν επί μάτων και καίε στην ίαση σε ενσαρκή μου. Εκακόθην και ταπεινό την έω πόδρο οριόμενο από στεναγμό τη καρδία μου. Κύριε εναντίον σου, πα επιθυμία μου και στεναγμό μου και σου ούπακ με κρύβει. Καρδία μου ταράχθη κατέληπέ με ισχύ μου και το φω των οθαλμών μου και αυτό και έστι με τεμό. Οι φίλοι μου και οι πλησίε μου εξαναντία μου ήγησαν και έστησαν. Και εγγυστά μου που μακρόθεν έστησαν, και εξηβιάζουν τι ζητούντε στην ψυχή μου, και οι ζητούντε τα κακά μου λάλησαν ματαιότητα, και δολιότητα όλη την ημέρα να μελέτησαν. Εγώ δε ω οι κουφό σου κυκούν, και ω άλλα λόγου σου κανίων το στόμα αυτού, και γινόμενο οι άνθρωποι σου κακούν, και ούκε έχουν εν το στόμα τι αυτού έλεγμου. Ό,τι επισή κύριε ήλπισα, σύ ακούσει κύριο Θεό μου, ότι είπων. Μήποτε είπε χαρόση με εκτρή μου και εντό αλετίνα πόδα μου που με μεγαλυμώνησαν. Ότι εγώ ει μάστιγα έτοιμο γαλιδών μου ενώπιον μου εστίδια παντό. Ότι την ανομία μου εγώ αναγγελώ και με ρηνίσω υπέρ τη αμαρτία μου. Η δεκτρή μου ζώση και κρατέονται υπέρ με και πριν την τη ανεμισούντε μα δίκο. Οι αντοποδίδοντέ μου κακά αντί αγαθών ένδια βαλών με έπει κατά δύο κον αγαθοσύνη. Μη εγκαταλείπει με κύριο Θεό μου μη αποστήσαπε μου. Πρόσχεση στην βοηθειά μου, κύριε τη σωτηρία μου. Μη εγκαταλείπει με κύριο Θεό μου. Μη αποστήσαπε μου. Πρόσχεση στην βοηθειά μου, κύριε τη σωτηρία μου. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate, impassable, and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life, I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you, with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on you at daybreak. For you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. But they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go out down into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God. All who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper. And in the shelter of your wings, I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Doxa patriki o kei opnevmati. Και νυν και αι και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων, αμήν. Κύριο Θεό, η σωτηρία μου ημέρα σε και έκρεξε και νυχτή αναντίον σου. Η σερτέ των ενωπιών σου, η προσευχή μου, κλείνον του σου, η συνδέησή μου. Ό,τι πλήσει κακόν η ψυχή μου και η ζωή μου το άδειγγισε. Προσελογίστη μετά το κατεβενόν των Ισλάκων, ο γεννήθινο ή άνθρωπο ο βοήθητο εν νεκρή ελεύθερο. Όσοι τραυματέα καθέδοντα εν τάφο, όν ου και μη συνέτη. Και αυτοί εκ τη χειρό απόστησαν. Εθεντώ με εν λάκου κατ' οτάτων σκοτεινή και εν σκιά θανάτου. Επε με επιστηρίθη ο θυμό σου και πάντα του μετερισμού σου επίαγε επε με. Εμάκνου του γνωστού μα πε μου εθεντώ με δέλιγμα εαυτή. Παρεδόθην και ού και σπροβόμενοι ο θαλμοί μου εσθένησαν από πτωχία. Εκέκρουσα προ εκείρη όλη την ημέρα διεπέδασα προ έτα χείρα μου. Μη τη νικρή ποιήση θαμάσια. Οι ιατροί αναστήσωσαν και εξομολογήσονται εσύ. Μη διηγήσετε τη εντοτάφου το λαιό σου και την αλήθειά σου εν διαπολία. 
μην γνωστήσετε εν το σκότι τα θαμασιά σου και η δικαιοσύνη σου εν γη επελυσμένη. Καγώ προς ε, Κύριε και έκραξα και το πρωί προς ευχή μου προθάσισε. Είνα τη Κύριε αποθεί τη ψυχή μου επαστρέψει στο πρόσωπον σ' απαιμό. Το χώσι μη εγώ και εν κόπης εκ νεότητός μου υψωθείστε ταπεινώθην και εξυπορήρθην. Επεμέ δίρθην οι οριές σου φοβερισμής σου εξαταραξάν με. Εκυκλωσάν με όσοι είδρο όλη την ημέρα περιέσκουν με άμα. Εμάκνας απ' εμού φίλων και πλησίων και τους γνωστούς μου από τα λοπορίας. Κύριο Θεό, η σωτηρίας μου ημέρα σε και έκρισε και νυχτή εναντίον σου. Ισερθέ το ενωπιόν σου η προσευχή μου. Κλείνον του ούσου εις την δέησή μου. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards, who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all who are wronged. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he willed to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us, he remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, As a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you, his angels, mighty in strength, who do his strength, who do his word so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you, his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Kiri, sakoson tis prosefies mo enotis et indaisi mo endi alithia su. I sakoson meni dikeosini su. Ke mi isel tis iskrisi meta otu dulu su. Ότι ού δικαιωθήσετε ενώπιόν σου παζών, ότι καταδίωξεν ο εχθρό στην ψυχή μου, εταπείνωσεν ει γην τη ζωή μου, και κάθισε μεν σκοτεινή ω νικρού αιώνα και κηδίασεν επεμέ το πνεύμα μου. Ένα μία ταράχθη η καρδία μου. Εμεί την ημερών αρχαίων εμελέτησαν πάση τη έργη σου. Εν πείμαση των χειρών σου εμελέτων, τι επέτασα προ έτα χείρα μου η ψυχή μου ω γη ανιδρώση. Ταχύ εισάκουσον με κύριε ξέλιπε το πνεύμα μου. Μη αποστρέψει το πρόσωπό σου από μου και μειωθήσει με τι καταβαίνωσε ει λάκων. Ακουστών πίσω μη το πρωί το λέω σου ότι πισήλπισα. Νοριστών με κύριο δόνεν υπορεύσου μου ότι προσέρει την ψυχή μου. Εξελούμε εκ των εχθρών μου κύριε προ έκατεφυγον. Διδαξώ με το ποιήν το θέλημά σου ότι είσαι ο Θεό μου. Το πνεύμα σου το αγαθόν οδηγήσει με γη ευθεία. Ένε και εν του ρωματό σου κύριε ζήσει με. Εν τη δικαιοσύνη σου εξάξει εκθλίψε ω την ψυχή μου. Και το λέει σου ξολοθρέψει του δεκτρού μου. Και απολύει πάντα στου λίγοντε στην ψυχή μου ότι εγώ δούλου σου είμαι. Ισάκουσον με κύριε τη δικαιοσύνη σου και μη έλθει ει κρίση μετά το δούλου σου. Ισάκουσον με κύριε τη δικαιοσύνη σου και μη έλθει ει κρίση μετά το δούλου σου. Το πνεύμα σου τα αγαθόν οδηγήσει με εγγύη ευθεία. Δόξα πατρί και ο και αγιο πνεύματι και νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων να μην. Αλληλούι, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Η ελπίση μου, κύριε, δόξα σε. Εν ειρήνη του κυρίου, δε ηθόμεν. Κυρία, ηθόμεν. Υπέρ τη άνωθεν ειρήνη και τη σωτηρία των ψυχών ημών του κυρίου, δε ηθόμεν. Κυρία, ηθόμεν. Υπέρ τη ειρήνη του σύμπαντο κόσμου, ευσταθία των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών. Διστών πάντων ενώσεω του κυρίου Δεϊθόμε. Κύριε Λέισον. Υπέρ του Αγίου 
οίκου τούτου και των μεταπίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού ισιών των εν αυτό του Κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Κύριε Λέησο. Πέρ του Αρχιεπισκόπου ημών Μακαρίου του Τιμίου Πρεσβυτερίου της εν Χριστώ διακονίας παντός του κληρού και του λαού του Κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Κύριε Λέησο. Πέρ της πόλεως ταύτης πάσης πόλεως και χώρας και των πίστη οίκουν των εν αυτές του Κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Κύριε Λέησο. Υπερευκρασία αέρων εφορίας των καρπών της γης και καιρών ειρηνικών του Κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Υπερπλέον των οδηπορούν των νοσούν των καμνών των εχμαλώτων και τη σωτηρίας αυτών του Κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Υπέρ του ρηστίνε ημάς από πάσης θλίψεως οργής κινδύνου και ανάγκης του Κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της η χάρητη της Παναγίας αχράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσποινησιμών Θεοτόκου και αϊπαρθένου Μαρίας μετά πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντες εαυτούς και αλληλούς και πάσαν την ζωή νημών. Χριστό το Θεό παραθώ μεθό. Ότι πρέπει σι πάσα δόξα τιμή και προσκύνηση στο Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύματι, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν, Θεός Κύριος και επεφανέν, Θεός Κύριος και επεφανέν ημήν, Ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονοματι Κυρίου. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon His holy name. God is the Lord and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Πάντα τα εθνική κλωσάμε και το όνομα του Κυρίου ημίν αμήν αυτούς. Θεός Κύριος και πεθάνεν ημίν, ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. And this came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Εξύψους κατήλθες ο εσπλάχνος, τα φύν κατεδέξω τριημέρον, η νόη μας ελευθερώσεις των παθών, η ζωή και η Ανάσταση Σιμών Κύριε δοξάσεις. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, You descended from on high, O compassionate one, and consented to a three-day burial to free us from the passions, O Lord, our life and resurrection. Glory to you. In kai kai stu se anas to neon anamino di mas yeni tis ek pathenu ke stavrosini pominas agathe. Ο θάνατο των θάνατων σκυλέψας και γερσήν δείξας ως Θεός μη παρήθησους έπλασας τη χείρη σου δείξον την φιλανθρωπία σου ελεήμων δέξε την τέκουσα σου εθεοτόκον πρεσβεύουσαν υπέρ ημών και σώσον σωτήρ ημών λαόν απεγνωσμένο. Έτι και έτι εν ειρήνη του Κυρίου δεηθόμε, Κύριε Λέησον, αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς, ο Θεός της η χάρητη, Κύριε Λέησον, της Παναγίας αχράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσποινησιμών Θεοτόκου και αϊπαρθένου Μαρίας, με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντε σε αυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωή νημών Χριστόν το Θεό παραθώ μεθά. Συγκύριε. Ότι σών το κράτος και σου έστεινε η βασιλεία και η δύναμις και η δόξα 
Πατρός και του Υιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν, ανέστης εκ νεκρών η ζωή των απάντων, και άγγελος φωτός θες γίνεξ Πάψαστε των δακρύων της Αποστόλης, Ευαγγελίσαστε. Κρόξατε αν υμνούσε, ότι ονέστη Χριστό, ο Κυρίος, ο Εδωκίσας ως Θεός, το γένος των ανθρώπων. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, having risen indeed from the tomb, O Lord, as recorded in Scripture, you told the devout women to proclaim your resurrection to the apostles. Then Peter came out and he ran to the tomb. He was amazed, beholding the light in the sepulchre. Looking in, he saw that your holy body was missing. The napkin and linen cloths were missing. The napkin and linen cloths were by themselves lying separately. Then he believed it and cried aloud, Glory to you, Christ our God, for you save all people, O Saviour. You are the reflection of the Father's glory. In kai kai sa se anas tone anan amin, tin urani on pilin ke ki voton, to panai on oro sin fotavi, ne feli ni mi somen, tin urani on klima ka, ton loji kom paradisot, ti se vas tin litrosin, ti si kumenis pasis. Το μέγα κοιμήλιον, ότι σωτηρία εν αυτή η διεπράθη, το κόσμο και αφέσεις των αρχαίων εγκλημάτων, διά του το βοούμεν αυτή, πρέσβευε, πρέσβευε το Σωείο και Θεό, τον θεσμάτων αφέσιν δωρήσαστε, της ευσεβώς προσκυνούσι, Human beings put a seal on your tomb. An angel rolled the stone away from its door. Women saw you risen from the dead, O oh Savior. Then they brought joyful news to your disciples in Zion that you, the life of all, had risen. And that the bonds of death were shattered, glory to you. Doxa patrike o ke yu pnemati ta miras ti sta fi se gine ke skomi saste. Foni sangeli ke sektu ta fu ikun. Pa saste ton ta kriyon ke andi lipis karon komi saste. Kroksa te anim nu. Σε ότι ανέστη Χριστό ο κυρίω, ο ευδόκη σα ω Θεό, Θεό, το γένο των ανθρώπων. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, I mean, in you, O Lady, full of grace, O creation, rejoices the hosts of angels and the human race. O consecrated temple and allegorical paradise, virgins boast of you, for God became incarnate from you. Our eternally existing God became a child from you. He made a throne of your womb, and he made your body whiter than the heavens. In you, O Lady, full of grace, O creation rejoices, glory to you. Ευλογητό η κυρία, διδαξών με τα δικαιώματά σου. Τον αγγέλων ο Δήμο κατεπλάγει ο Ρόντσε. Ένε κρύσλογη στέντα. Του θανάτου δε σωτήρ την ισχύ καθελόντα. Και συνε αυτό το να δάμε γύραντα. Και εξάδου πάντα σε ελευθερώσαν. 
Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your precepts. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O women disciples? Thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the myrrh-bearing women, See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Saviour has risen from the sepulchre. Employitos y queria de daxon meta dikeomatasu. Liam proi miro fori adramon prostomnima su trinologus. Alle pesti prosafta so angelos ke ip. Trino keros pe pafte mi klet. Tino nosto sint. Apostolis y Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your precepts. When the myrrh-bearing women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, O Saviour, they heard the voice of an angel clearly speaking to them. Why do you account among the dead the one who lives? For as God he has risen from the sepulchre. Doxa patrike io ke agio pneumati, proskinumen patera ke to tuto ion, ke to agio pneuma, in agio triada, en miati usia, sin di serafim cross on the sto agios agios, Aios y both, <coughs> both now and forever and to the ages of ages, I mean, giving birth to the giver of life, O Virgin. You delivered Adam from sin, and to Eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate God and man has directed to life him who fell from me. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Και εν ειρήνη του κυρίου Δεϊθόμε, κυρία Λεϊθόμε, αντιλαβού σώσον ελεϊσόν και διαφύλαξον ημά ο Θεό τη Ιχαρητή, κυρία Λεϊθόμε, τη Παναγία Αχράντου, υπερευλογημένη εν δόξου δεσπινισιμών Θεοτόκου και αϊπαρθένου Μαρία με τα πάντων των Αγίων Μνημονεύσαντε. Εαυτού και αλλήλου και πάσαν την ζωή νημών. Χριστό το Θεό παραθώ μεθό. Ότι βλογητέ σου το όνομα και δε δόξαστε σου η βασιλεία του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο. Νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. The myrrh-bearing women went to the tomb of the giver of life, seeking the immortal master among the dead, and receiving good tidings of joy from the angel, they reported to the apostles that the Lord had risen, granting the great mercy to the world. <laughs> Let those who hate Zion become like the grass before it is plucked up, for Christ will also cut their necks in pieces with the cutting blade of torment. <laughs> Θεός μέγας, συν πατρίμ νουμένο, φτώ και το λόγο. Let my heart be humble-minded and covered with the fear of you, O Lord, lest it be exalted and fall from you, O compassionate Master. Επί τον Κύριον εσχήκος ελπίδα σου δύση τούτο, Ότε πήρει τα πάντα 
Trinica Colossi. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, every holy person sees and speaks as a prophet. They do sublime miracles, praising the one God in three persons. For though it shines with threefold light, Yet the Godhead rules as monarch. Eke kraxas i kyria proskes klinon mito usu vondi, ke katharon prinarisma apoton en thendem. Everyone who sits in the earth, his mother, will again return thanks to receive the torments or honors for his life's action. Doxa patrike o kia iu pneumati, ke nin kia i gesu se onas ton e ono na mi. A iu pneumati teologia monastri sa iu, o patir haron orfos, ek sue fiu iu sofronos, ke to pneuma simforon sintronon, Behold, now what is so good or so pleasant as for brethren to dwell together? For in this the Lord has promised life everlasting. Tu endimatos of tu ota crino tu avru cosmon, ke levi mi din frondizin. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, the unifying cause all things are sustained in peaceful coexistence. This is so for he is God, with the Father and the Son being truly one in essence. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. And if Sikhimo ton Kirion, and Eso Kirion, and Dizoimu, Psaloto Theomu. Βασιλεύσιν <Σιζεύσαι> Israel the figa da pezono ditin ti eso sen os moto the ho anamel pona Glory to your holy resurrection O Lord how can we all not be amazed by the almighty divinity of Christ from the savior's passion pour out in corruption and dispassion to believers all from his holy side that was pierced ever flows an immortal fount from his empty tomb everlasting life. Doxa tia hi anastasi su kiria ose prepistes in exino angelos nin epafin epefaniste ke ti la viferon tis enfito simbola aielo catharotitos ti morfi de minion Tu fengos tis anastaseos, krasi exigerti o kirios. Most holy Theotokos save us, O generations call you blessed, proclaiming glorious things concerning you, as the only woman who held God the Logos in her womb, remaining ever pure virgin mother of God. Therefore we the faithful are honor you, as a mighty champion after God. Doxa si o theo si mon doxa si, de vro psihi mu atli o klafson ta si, pe pragmena si meron, ni mon evu satis prin, en edem ni no se os, di is ex evlitis tis trifis, Glory to you, O God, glory to you. In your abundant compassion and mercy, fashioner of the creation and maker of all, 
You took me from the dust and gave me life, commanding me to sing your praises with your angels. Doxa patri ke iho ke ayi opne mati dia Christotis Christotitos pluton si fituris plastu ye ke kiria para visu tin trifin en edem ke levon metrifon ton oreon ke tepnon. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, I mean, you are a daughter of Adam by descent, virgin Theotokos, but by the grace the mother of Christ our God, I am an exile from Eden, call me back again. Osterosas catarhas, tu sura no sensinesi, que tingine pida tu nedrosas, en ti petra me Christe, ti se clisti osterixon, o ti ukesti plinsu, agios mone filanthrope. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. Condemned was Adam when he ate and tasted sin in the garden, but your physical passion that has saved us vindicated him, O Lord, because you were not liable to have to undergo death since you were sinless, O Christ our God. Doxati agi anastasi sukirie, tis anastase ostofos, exelam se tis enskoti, tu thanatu keski o kathimenis, O Theos mu Iisus, que ti of tu Theotiti, ton ishiron desmevsos, tu totas que vidir pasen. O Toli Theotoko seibas, you are superior to all the angels of Theotokos, the cherubim and seraphim of virgin, only you held your womb, God, who is uncontainable, and therefore all believers, Ever extol you and call you blessed. O doxasi o theosi mon doxasi. O fis o doli o spote tin timin mu fronisas. Epsi thiri se dolon ti se vasen ti sosin. Exi se ho plani ti sexoristi i mi tu horu ti zois. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. I stretched out my hand in rashness and tasted from the tree of knowledge. Although God had ordered me on no account to eat from it, and I was bitterly cast out from the divine glory. Doxa patri ke iho ke agi opnevmati η μη αθλία μου ψυχή πόσου και γνωστών δόλων πόσου κίστου της πλάνης και του θόνου του εχθρού άλλες κοτίστης των νουν και παρεύεις εντολήν του χτίστου σου Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, I mean You are my hope and protection, Holy Virgin For you alone have covered fallen Adam's nakedness by your childbearing lady. Clothe me once more with incorruption. Kyrie eleison. Αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της ηχάρητης. Κύριε Αλέησον. Της Παναγίας Αχράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δέσποινης ημών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαρίας με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντε σε αυτούς και αλληλούς και πάσαν την ζωή ημών. Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθο. Συ Κύριε. Ότι Συ ο Θεός ημών και Συ την δόξα να αναπέμπομαι το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύμα την ίν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. When you rose from the grave, you also raised the dead and you resurrected Adam. Because of your resurrection, Eve is rejoicing. And people the world over celebrate your resurrection from the dead 
O very merciful Lord. O very merciful Lord. When you ransacked the realm of Hades and you raised the dead, O long suffering master, you met the myrrh bearing women and you gave them joy in place of sorrow. You showed your apostles the marks of your victory, O Saviour and Giver of life, and you illumined creation, O benevolent God. Therefore, the world also celebrates your resurrection from the dead, O very merciful Lord. Mm. Mi filoxas din tu despotu ke kate kriti ergasas ta tingin exis elifti aftos i throti de polo i sin narton aftu di ohi mis potis o men engrotion i na mi exotrini so men tu paradisu. Os perekinos, alis afton elevso metho. Voxa patrike yo kia yo pnevmati, ni no quiero stonar eton epefani, que pithire so pritis mistignasumen, ala defte ni stevon desprosaxumen, da quia catanixin que leimos inin. Razon teni martomen i per psamon talasis ala nespasi pandon litrota inakes homen ton afarton stefanon both now and forever into the ages of ages amen we the unworthy shall not ever be silent o theotokos from proclaiming your powers for you, were you not concerned to intercede for us, who would have delivered us from such manifold dangers, and who else would up to now have preserved us in freedom? O Lady, we shall not depart from you, for you ever save your servants from evils of every kind. Let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Bringing to mind our all holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For you are the King of peace and the Saviour of our souls, and to you we offer glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. O Guide to wisdom, provider of prudence, disciplinarian of fools and defender of the poor. Fortify and discipline my heart, O Master. You give me a word, O word of the Father. For behold, I will not hinder my lips from crying to you. O merciful Lord, have mercy on me who have fallen. Have mercy on me who have fallen. In times of old did Adam sit and cry in sorrow opposite the delights he had in paradise. His hands did upon his forehead strike as he said this, O merciful Lord, have mercy on me who have fallen. Beholding the angel thrusting him and closing the holy garden's gate, Adam wailed mightily to state, O merciful Lord, have mercy on me who have fallen. O paradise, now sympathize with your owner who was pauperized, and by the rustling of your leaves, beg the maker not close you, please. O merciful Lord, have mercy on me who have fallen. Paradise most excellent, most holy and most radiant. For Adam you were planted, because of Eve you were disbanded. Beseech God for the fallen. O merciful Lord, have mercy on me who have fallen. Have mercy on me who have fallen. On March 17, we commemorate our devout father, Alexios, the man of God. 
On this day, we commemorate the fearful threat of earthquake which our humane Lord brought upon us in his benevolence and from which he delivered us in a manner beyond hope. The threat came during the reign of the Emperor Constantine. On this day, the holy martyr Paul died by fire for the sake of the holy icons. On this day, devout Saint Theosterkitos, the confessor, reposed in peace. On this day, we remember the expulsion of the first formed Adam from the Garden of Eden. Let the world now bitterly mourn with Eve and Adam, for it fell together with them who fell by sweet eating. By your ineffable compassion, O Christ our God, make us worthy of the delights of paradise and have mercy as our only beloved Lord. Amen. O Sene Piro preserves us, O Israel, and of his O Ignacy, don't the Octin Pharao, Caforum Potum and on. The whole Piniki or no the Nevo, so man. No one is holy like the Lord, no one righteous like our God. Being good, you exalted your believers' horn of strength, firmly establishing us on the rock of confession. Of faith in you. The Holy Church of God exclaims befittingly, Christ is God and my Lord, and he is my strength. She is celebrating in the Lord and sings to him, from a mind that has been purified. So the offering is who agape, as the north is on the sipsi has, both for Gata of us on the home, say the Nahelo Yefeu, don't on those the own, exo futum desmaton, anacalumano. I see when my life becomes rough and stormy like the sea, temptations feel like turbulence. So I turn to the safe harbor of your church, and calmly I pray to you, raise my life from corruption, very merciful Lord. Angelos tisos is pesi, tus caldeus de cata flegon prostagmateu, don tira non episevon, e flojitos i oceos, o ton pateron imon. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord, from the flame you Fresh pious servants as with dew, and with water consume the righteous prophet's sacrifice. You accomplished all, O Christ, simply by willing it. We exalt you beyond measure unto all the ages. Του κυρίου Δεϊθόμε, ότι άγιο ή ο Θεό ημών και να γη επαναπάβει, και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπουμε το πατρί και το ιό και το αγίο πνεύματι, νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Πάσα πνοή ενεσότω των κυρίων. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Ενεσότω πνοή, πάσα των κυρίων. Και υπέρ του καταξίωθη να ημάς της ακροάσεως του Αγίου Ευαγγελίου, Κύριον των Θεών ημών, νικετεύσομαι. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, Κύριε Λαϊσόν, Κύριε Λαϊσόν. Wisdom, let us stand. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Mary was standing outside in front of the sepulchre, weeping. As she was weeping, she then stooped to look into the sepulchre 
And behold, two angels in white sitting, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been lying. And they say to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She says to them, Because they took away my Lord, and I do not know where they laid him. Having said these things, she turned around and beheld Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus says to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom do you seek? She, supposing it was the gardener, says to him, Sir, if you did bear him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus says to her, Mary. She turns and says to him, to him Ravuni, that is to say, teacher. Jesus says to her, do not touch me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, and to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went back bringing back tidings to the disciples that she had seen the Lord, and that he spoke these things to her. of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God, apart from you we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Eleison me o Theos kata to mega eleosu, ke kata to plithos to niktin monsu, exalipson to anomi mamu. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. Behold, you love truth, you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. 
For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with hope and offering. To good, O oh Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall offer young bulls on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Και κατά το πλήθο των νικτυρμών σου εξαλείψον το ανώμημα μου. Mm. Τα πλήθη των πεπραγμένων μη And no. Θαρών ιστοέλεος της 
εις πλαχνία σου ως ο Δαβίδ βώσει. Ελέησον με ο Θεός κατά το μέγα σου. Σώσον ο Θεός των λαών σου και ευλογησόν την κληρονομίαν σου επίσκεψε τον κόσμον σου ελέη και η κυρμής ύψωσον κέρας χριστιανών ορθοδόξων και κατάπεμψον εφημάς τα ελέη σου τα πλούσια πρεσβείες της Παναχράντου δεσποινησιμών Θεοτόκου και αϊπαρθένου Μαρίας δυνάμι του τιμίου και ζωπιού σταυρού προστασίες των τιμίων επουρανιών δυνάμεων ασωμάτων οι κεσίες του Τίμιου ενδόξου προφήτου προδρόμου και βαπτιστού Ιωάννου, των Αγίων ενδόξου και μανεφήμων Αποστόλων, των Αγίων ενδόξου και κανινικών μαρτύρων, των Οσίων και Θεοφόρων πατέρων ημών, του Αγίου ενδόξου μεγαλομάρτυρος Γεωργίου του Τροπεοφόρου, των Αγίων και Δικαίων Θεοπατόρων Ιωκίμ και Άνης, του Οσίου Πατρόσιμων Παϊσίου του Αγιορίτου Εφόρου και Προστάτου της Αυστραλίας, των Αγίων του Οσίου Πατρόσιμων Αλεξίου Ανθρώπου του Θεού και του Αγίου Οσίου Μάτυρος Παύλου, όν και τη μνήμη επιτελούμεν και πάνω σου των Αγίων, ηγετευωμέν σε μόνε πολύ έλε, Κύριε, επάκουσον ημών των αμαρτωλών δεωμένων σου και ελέησον ημών. και φιλανθρωπία του μονογενού σου Υιού μεθου ευλογητώσι συν το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύμα την ίν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων την Θεοτόκον και μητέρα του φωτός εν ύμνης τιμώντες μεγαλύνομαι μεγαλύνει η ψυχή μου των Κύριων και η Γαλλία σε το πνεύμα μου Επί το Θεό το σωτήρι μου, την ημιωτέρων των χερούβιμ και ενδοξωτέρων ασυγκρίτως των σεροφίμ, την αδειοφόρος θεών λόγων τεκούσαν, την όντος Θεοτόκων σε μεγαλύνομεν. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maid servant, For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Ότι επίση μη μεγαλείο δυνατό και άγιο το όνομα αυτού και το έλεο αυτού ει γενεάν και γενεάν τη φοβουμένη αυτούν. Την τιμή ο τέραν των χερουβίν και ενδόξο τέραν ασυγκρίτω των σεραφίν. Την άδεια φθόρο θεών λόγων τεκούσαν. Την όντω θεοτόκον σε He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, 
Καθήλε δυνάστα από θρόνων και ύψο σε ταπεινού. Πεινώντα εν έπεισε ένα βαθό και πλουτούντα εξαπέστειλε καινού. Την ημιωτέραν των χερούδιμ και ενδοξωτέραν ασυγκρίτω των σεραφίμ. Την άδειο θόρο θεών λογών τεκούσαν. Την όντω θεοτόκων σε μεγαλύνουμε. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. As he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim, you without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. It is impossible for God to be seen by people and angelic orders dare not to look at him. But the word incarnate has been seen by mankind through you, O rope your virgin. Now magnifying him, joining the celestial host, all generations call you blessed. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Bringing to mind our all holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you and offer up glory to you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Aios Kyrios O Theos Simon. Holy is the Lord our God. Ipsute Kyrion ton Theos Simon. Ke proskinite to ipopodio ton podon. For he is holy. Amazed was Mary Magdalene, seeing two angels sitting inside the tomb. Then none aware that it was Christ, she asked him, Tell me, sir, where have you taken the body of my Jesus? As if he were the gardener, he said to her name, and then she recognized him. And she heard the Savior say, Do not touch me. Go tell my brethren that I am ascending to our Father. Παρικούσα ο αθλίος και γυμνωθείς της εις δόξης εσχύνης πέπλης μοιήμη και της τρυφής εκπέβλημε του παραδείσου εσπλαχνε ελεήμων ελεήσων τον στερήθεντα δικαίους της αγαθότητος της σύς. We were expelled of old, O Lord, from the garden of Eden, for wrongly eating from the tree. But, O my God and Saviour, 
you once again have restored us through your cross and your passion. Thereby, O oh Master, fortify and enable us purely to finish Lent and to worship your divine resurrection. Paschar, our saving Passover, by the prayers of your mother. God, he has risen 
to the entire world. A nieta of Don and the man on Kehoro, a nieta of Don and Hordes Kehorgano, a path as the Astavro, O path is this the Otiti, the Finko the Thaxo Trimeron. In I must have the roses, act is the lias to act through. Ke a fanat is us, so peace is he must rise the othos. The artist Anastasios, O Sifilanthro. Ενίτε αυτόν εγκυμβάλει σε βύχη, ενίτε αυτόν εγκυμβάλει σε λαλαγμού, πάσα πνοή ενεσάτο τον Κυρίον. Ήμι ο Άδαμεν θρήνο και κράγεν, ότι ο φύς και γίνει θεϊκής παρησίας με έξωσαν και παραδείσου της τρύφης ξύλου βρώσης Just 
from paradise as one disobedient after partaking of its luxury Moses saw God after cleansing the eyes of his soul by fasting. Hence, if we desire to become residents of paradise, let us divorce ourselves from baleful delights and desiring to see God. As did Moses, let us fast the four times ten. By sincerely persevering, in prayer and supplication, let us suppress the passions of our souls. Let us avert the swellings of the flesh. Thus lightened, let us set off on the journey to the things above, where the choirs of angels in unbroken song sing praise to the undivided Trinity. See the irresistible beauty of the Master, O Son of God and Giver of life. We who set our hope on you and treat, make us worthy of dancing with the armies of angels. O Christ, at the intercession of your mother, the 
apostles, martyrs, and all the saints. Loxum Patricum Πνευματικών αγώνων αρχή. Η κατά των δαιμόνων ήκη Glory be to 
figure showed the light glory in the highest to God. His peace is on earth, his goodwill in humankind. Lord, King, Heavenly God, Father, Ruler over all, Lord, Only Begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and You, O Holy Spirit. Kyrie o Theos, o Imnos tu Theu, o Iós tu Patros, o Eron din Amartian tu Cosmo, Eleison imas, o Eron tus Amartias tu Cosmo. Accept our supplication, you who sit at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. Otis imonos agios, imonos kyrios, Jesus Christos, his dogs and theopatros amin. Every day I will bless you, and your name will I praise to eternity and to the ages of ages. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers. Praised and glorified is your name to the ages. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your precepts. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your precepts. Lord, I have fled to you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Extend your mercy to those who know you. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Sing to him who resurrected.
resurrected from the tomb, and he is the author of our life. For destroying death by death, he gave us the victory and the great mercy. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son <clears throat> and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, the stability of the holy churches of God, and the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and those who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the devout and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Archbishop Makarios, the honorable priest with the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this land, its civil authorities, and all its people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and every city and country, and the, for the believers who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who are traveling by land, and to see or air for those who are sick, suffering or captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, anger, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Bring to mind our all holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. You, our Lord. Lord our God, whose dominion is incomparable and glory incomprehensible, whose mercy is immeasurable and love for humankind ineffable, look upon us and upon this holy house in your loving kindness and grant to us and those who pray with us your abundant mercy and compassion. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Ευλογή ψυχή μου των Κύριων και πάντα τα εντός μου του όνομα του Αγίων αυτού, τες πρεσβείες της Θεοτόκους, ο τες όσον ημάς. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his rewards through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Saviour, save us. Kyrios en to urano itimas et on thronon aftou, ke i vasilia aftou pandon despozi. Tes presvies tis Theotokos, o tens oson imas. Doxa patri ke i o ke i o pnevmati, ke nil ke ai ke i stus eonos ton eonon, amin. Τες πρεσβείες της Θεοτόκου, σώτερς όσον ημάς. Έτσι και έτσι εν ειρήνη του Κυρίου δεηθόμε, αντιλαβούς όσον ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της η χάρητη. Της Παναγίας αχράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσποινής ημών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαρίας με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντες, εαυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωή ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθα. Συ Κύριε. Κύριο Θεός ημών σώσον των λαών σου και ευλόγησον την κληρονομία σου το πλήρωμα της Εκκλησίας σου φύλαξον, αγίασον τους αγαπώντας την ευπρέπεια του οίκου σου, σι αυτούς αντιδόξασον τη θέκη σου δυνάμει και μην καταλείπεις ημάς τους επίζοντας επισέ ότι σών το κράτος και σου εστίν η βασιλεία και η δύναμις και η δόξα του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I shall praise the Lord while I live. I shall sing to my God as long as I exist. Save us, Son of God, who rose 
from the dead, we chant to you, Alleluia. Μακάριο σου ο Θεός Ιακώβ, βοηθός αυτού, η ελπίς αυτού επί Κύριαν των Θεών αυτού. Σώσον ημάς η έθεου, ο Αναστάς εκ νεκρών, σαλοντάς η Αλληλούια. The Lord shall reign forever, you God, O Zion, to all generations. Save us, Son of God, who rose from the dead, we chant to you, Alleluia. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι, και νυν και αΐ και Ιησούς αιώνας των αιώνων, αμήν. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you who are immortal, and consented for our salvation to be incarnate of the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, without change becoming human, and you were crucified, Christ our God, by death trampling on death. You who are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Bringing to mind our all holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and the Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Lord, you have granted us to offer these common prayers in unison and have promised that when two or three agree in your name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the petitions of your servants as may be a benefit to them, granting us in the present age the knowledge of your truth and in the age to come eternal life. For you are a good and benevolent God, and to you we offer glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. This is the day the Lord made. Let us greatly rejoice and be glad therein. Excipsus gaudithes, O es blagnos, da ficat elepso primeron. In oimas eleutheros is don patho, Our life and resurrection, glory to you. O 
Ουστον εχμαλωτών ελευθερωτής και των πτωχών υπερασπιστής ασθενούν τον Ιατρός βασιλέων υπέρμαχος τροπέο φόρε μεγάλο μάρτης και όριε πρέσβευε Χριστό το Θεό σωθήνε τας ψυχάς ημών. Protector of Australia, vigilant guardian and resplendent pillar of Mount Athos, we the faithful let us praise the holy Pisces and beseeching his intercessions before God, crying out with one voice, deliver us, O Father, from the arrows of the vengeful one. O guide to wisdom, provider of prudence, disciplinarian of fools and defender of the poor, fortify and discipline my heart, O Master. Give me a word, a word of the Father, for behold, I will not hinder my lips from crying out to you, a merciful Lord. Have mercy on me who have fallen. O Kyrie Dei Thome, O Holy God, resting among the holy, praised by the Seraphim in the thrice holy voice, glorified by the Cherubim and worshipped by every celestial power, have brought all things into being out of non-being. You have created humanity according to your image and likeness and adorned us with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to those who ask and you do not overlook the sinner but have set repentance as the path of salvation. You have granted us, the clergy, your humble and unworthy servants, to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar of sacrifice and to offer to you appropriate worship and praise. Master, accept that recite your hymn also from the lips of our sinners and visit us in your goodness. Forgive all our voluntary and involuntary transgressions, sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant that we may worship you in holiness all the days of our lives. Through the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. For you, our God, are holy, and to you we offer up glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Oh. 
Sing praises to our God, sing praises, clap your hands, all you nations. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Let us be attentive. Brethren, salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. The night is far gone, the day is at hand. Let us then cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us conduct ourselves becomingly as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and licentiousness, not in quarreling and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. As for the man who is weak in faith, welcome him, but not for disputes over opinions. One believes he may eat anything, while the weak man eats only vegetables. Let not him who eats despise him who abstains, and let not him who abstains pass judgment on him who eats, for God has welcomed him. Who are you to pass judgment on the servant of another? It is before his own master that he stands or falls, and he will be upheld, for God is able to make him stand. Adelphi, nin egint et ikiteron imoni sotiria iote epistefsamen, inix proekopsen, ide imera ingiken, apothometha un ta erga tus cotos, kendisometha ta opla tu fotos, o sen imera efshimonos peripatisomen, Mi comis que meces, mi quites que hacer guías, mi eridi que zilo, alendisame don Kilion y son Cristón, que en tis sarcos pronian, mi pieste is epithimias, todeas de nundi da tipisti proslavoneste, mi is da crisis dialogismon, os men pistevi fagin panda, O de asthenon lachana esti, o estion ton mi estionda, mi exuthenito, que u mi estion ton estionda, mi crineto, o theos garafton proselaveto, si tis i o crinon alotrion i ketin, to idio kirius tikete i piti, i pipti, sta thisete de. Dinatos garestin o Theos, stise afto o o o o Peace be with you, the readers. The reading is from the Gospel according to Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. The Lord said, If you forgive people their offences, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive people their offences, neither will your Father forgive your offences. Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with their gloomy faces, 
They disfigure their faces so that people may see that they are fasting. Amen, I tell you, they are far from their reward. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that people may not see that you are fasting. Only your Father who is in secret will see, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Do not store up treasures for yourselves on the earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal. Instead, store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust consume and where thieves do not break in and steal. Indeed, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Ήπεν ο Κύριος, εάν αφήτε τις ανθρώπεις τα παραπτώματα αυτών, αφήσει και ημίν ο πατήρ ημών ο ουράνιος. Εάν δε μη αφήτε τις ανθρώπεις τα παραπτώματα αυτών, ουδέ ο πατήρ ημών αφήσει τα παραπτώματα ημών. Όταν δε νηστεύετε, μη γίνεστε ως περιποκριτέ, σκυθρωπή. Αφανίζουν σιγάρ τα πρόσωπα αυτών όπως φανώσει τις ανθρώπεις νηστεύοντες. Αμήν λέγω ημίν ότι απέχουσι των μισθών αυτών. Σι δεν νηστεύον, άλυψέ σου την κεφαλήν και το πρόσωπον σου νύψε, όπως μη φανείς της ανθρώπης νηστεύον, αλλά το πατρί σου το εντοκρυπτό. Και ο πατήρ σου ο βλέπον εντοκρυπτό, αποδώσωσι εντοφανερό. Μη θησαυρίζετε ή μην θησαυρούς επί της γης, όπου σεις και βρώσεις αφανίζει και όπου κλέπτε διορίσουσι και κλέπτουσι. Θησαυρίζετε δε ή μην θησαυρούς εν ουρανό, όπου ούτε σεις ούτε βρώσεις αφανίζει και όπου κλέπτε ού διορίσουσιν ουδέ κλέπτουσιν. Όπου γάρες την ο θησαυρός ημών, εκεί έστε και η καρδία ημών. Τι περίεργο πράγμα. Ο άνθρωπος αποστρέφεται τον αδελφό του ενώ ο Κύριος μας συγχωρεί όλα. Μας τα συγχωρεί όλα. Και ενώ ο Θεός μας συγχωρεί όλα εμείς γινόμαστε άσπλαχνοι. Σκλήριναν οι καρδιές μας και πάγωσε η αγάπη και δεν αισθανόμαστε την αγάπη του Θεού και κατά συνέπεια χάνουμε την πίστη μας. Κάτι τέτοιο είπε ο Όσιος Σιλουανός, ο Αθωνίτης και συνδέεται άμεσα με την Ευαγγελική Περικοπή της Κυριακής της Τυρινής που μας προτρέπει να συγχωρούμε τους συνανθρώπους μας αν θέλουμε να μας συγχωρέσει ο Θεός. Η εμπειρία της συγνώμης που προσφέρει ο Θεός στον άνθρωπο δημιουργεί μέσα μας την αυτονόητη υποχρέωση να φερόμαστε και εμείς με την ίδια επίοικια στον συνάνθρωπό μας. Αυτήν την πραγματικότητα που μας καλεί να βιώσουμε το Ευαγγέλιο, ζούμε καθημερινά στην Θεία Λειτουργία. Μέσα στην Θεία Ευχαριστία, Θυμόμαστε όσα πρέπει να ξεχάσουμε. 
θυμόμαστε όσα πρέπει να ξεχάσουμε. Συγχωρώντας κάθε τι που κρατάει τον ένα μακριά από τον άλλο με μίσος. Στο αρχαίο κείμενο των Αποστολικών Διαταγών, όταν ο Διάκονος καλεί για τον ασπασμό της αγάπης μέσα στη Θεία Λειτουργία, λίγο πριν το πιστεύω, θέτει με την εκφώνησή του τρεις όρους, τρεις προϋποθέσεις, με τους οποίους πρέπει να λάβει χώρα ο ασπασμός. Τι κάμνανε οι αρχαίοι χριστιανοί στο «αγαπήσω μεν αλλήλους». Εμείς στεκόμαστε έτσι, σαν αγάλματα σήμερα. Οι αρχαίοι χριστιανοί στο «αγαπήσω μεν αλλήλους» ασπάζονταν ο ένας τον άλλον. «Αγαπήσω μεν αλλήλους» ο ένας τον άλλον. Και γυρνούσανε και ασπάζονταν, φιλούσαν δηλαδή, τον άνθρωπο ο οποίος ήταν δίπλα τους και από τη μια πλευρά και από την άλλη όποιος και να ήταν. Αυτό υπάρχει στην λειτουργία την αρχιερατική. Αν προσέξετε όταν έρθει η ιεράρχης, δεσπότης σε μια εκκλησία, σε εκείνο το σημείο το αγαπήσουμε να λύλους, στέκεται ο δεσπότης σε αυτό το σημείο και όσοι ιερείς είναι στο ιερό μπαίνουν με τη σειρά και αλληλοσυγχωρούνται. Μακάρι και εμείς αδελφοί κάτι τέτοιο να το επαναφέρουμε στην λειτουργική πράξη την σημερινή. Θα μου πείτε θα φιλήσω τον διπλανό μου αυτός που μου έκανε αυτό, αυτή που μου έκανε εκείνο. Ναι, μα γι' αυτό και τα κάνουμε αυτά, γι' αυτό και λέμε αυτά τα πράγματα στη λειτουργία. Ο διάκονος στην αποστολική εποχή, όταν ήρθε ο καιρός για, την, ε, για τον ασπασμό της αγάπης, σε εκείνο το σημείο της λειτουργίας, το αγαπήσω με αλλήλους, έλεγε επίσης, να μην υπάρχει στην καρδιά μας μνησικακία, υποκρισία και δολιότητα. Μνησικακία είναι να θυμάμαι τι κακό μου έκανε ο διπλανός. Θυμάμαι. Και δεν δε θυμόμαστε μόνο τι μου έκανε εχθές, θυμόμαστε και τι μου κάνε πέρσι, θυμόμαστε και πέντε χρόνια πριν, θυμόμαστε και δέκα χρόνια πριν, και είκοσι και τριάντα, σκεφτείτε πως οι αδελφοί και αδελφές είναι μαλωμένοι για δεκαετίες, αυτό είναι μνησικακία. Να έχουμε στη μνήμη μας την κακία. Αυτό είναι μνησικακία. Θυμάμαι, θυμάμαι τι μου κάνες. Αυτό να μην υπάρχει στην καρδιά μας, λέει ο διάκονος στο σημείο του ασπασμού της λειτουργίας. Για να μας τα κάνει ακόμα πιο δύσκολα ο διάκονος ο, της Αποστολικής Εποχής, λέει και να μην έχετε και υποκρισία. Δηλαδή να μην το κάνετε σαν ηθοποιοί. Να μην βάλετε μάσκα, να το εννοήσετε δηλαδή. Και τρίτον, να μην υπάρχει δολιότητα. Το να είσαι δόλιος σημαίνει να έχεις κάποια ε, σκέψη η οποία είναι, δεν είναι αγαθή. Δόλια σκέψη. Και αυτό έχει εφαρμογή στο γεγονός ότι και ίσως και γι' αυτό το λόγο να σταμάτησε ο ασπασμός με τις εποχές που περάσανε ότι κάποιος θα φιλούσε κάποια με δόλιο τρόπο. Κατανοητό. 
Άρα λοιπόν, αδελφοί, όλα αυτά δεν είναι εύκολα. Μόνο ο Θεός της συγνώμης μπορεί να μας κάνει όλο και πιο σταθερούς στην διάθεσή μας και στην απόφασή μας για συγνώμη, άφεση και συγχώρεση. Συγνώμη σημαίνει έχω την ίδια γνώμη μαζί σου. Άφεση σημαίνει το αφήνω. Συγχώρεση σημαίνει χωράω μαζί σου στον ίδιο χώρο, στο ίδιο σπίτι, στον ίδιο ναό. Χωράω στον ίδιο χώρο μαζί σου. Ας το ζητήσουμε από τον Θεό, διότι με τις δικές μας δυνάμεις, με τις δικές μας πνευματικές και νοητικές δυνάμεις, δεν αφήνουμε τον εαυτό μας να τα καταφέρουμε αυτά. Άρα λοιπόν, ξεκινάμε με το να ζητήσουμε από τον Θεό να μπορέσουμε να είμαστε αντάβγασμα του Ιδίου. Να είμαστε αντικαθρόπτισμα του Θεού, ο οποίος ο ίδιος ο Θεός συγχωρεί. Οι περισσότεροι αισθανόμαστε ως υπολοιπόμενοι, ως εις διαγάπην ανίκανος, όπως λέει το ρητό. Είναι φορές που μνησικακούμε και θέλουμε κιόλας να εκδικηθούμε. Ας το βρει από άλλον, ας τον συγχωρέσει ο Θεός. Άλλοτε συγχωράμε και άλλο το να κρατάμε. Λέμε, τον συγχώρεσα, αλλά το θυμάμαι ακόμα. Τον συγχώρεσα, την συγχώρεσα, αλλά όχι και να κάνουμε και παρέα, λέμε. Και όμως, αδελφοί, ερχόμαστε στη λειτουργία, ψάλουμε το αγαπήσω με να λύλους, ή να ενομονία ομολογήσουμε, ομολογήσουμε, δηλαδή ας αγαπήσουμε ένα τον άλλον, ώστε με ομόνια να ομολογήσουμε το εξής, Πατέρα Υιόν και Άγιο Πνεύμα και τα, και τα λοιπά, τρώμε στο ίδιο πνευματικό τραπέζι, λέμε ότι αγαπάμε τον Χριστό, αλλά με τον διπλανό μας νιώθουμε σαν ξένοι, σαν εχθροί και κοιτάμε να αποφύγουμε ο ένας τον άλλον. Τελειώνοντας την Θεία Λειτουργία και βγαίνοντας από τον Ναό, ας κάνουμε ουσιαστικά την αρχή να αγαπάμε ο ένας τον άλλον, να συγχωρούμε ο ένας τον άλλον, να κατανοούμε ο ένας τον άλλον και να μην ξεχνάμε ότι ο δρόμος για την Βασιλεία του Θεού περνάει από την ζωή του διπλανού μας. Απόψε, αδελφοί, γίνεται ο εσπερινός της συγνώμης. Κυριακή της τυρινή σήμερα, τελευταία μέρα που τρώμε τυροκομικά. Την περασμένη Κυριακή, τελευταία μέρα που φάγαμε κρέατα. Από αύριο καθαρά Δευτέρα. Απόψε, λοιπόν, είναι ο εσπερινός της, αγ... της συγνώμης. Και προσκαλείστε να είσαστε παρόντες στον Εσπερινό, στον Καθεδρικό Ναό της Αρχιεπισκοπής μας, στο Ρέντφερν, από τις 7 και μπρος, όπου θα γίνει ο Εσπερινός, θα δείτε τον Δεσπότη, τους άλλους αρχιερείς, όλους τους ιερείς του Σίδνεϊ, σε μια γραμμή και συγχωρούν ο ένας τον άλλον. Και ύστερα και ο λαός, προσκαλείται να προσέλθει και να αλληλοσυγχωρηθούν με τον Δεσπότη, με τους ιερείς και ο ένας τον άλλον. 
Έτσι ξεκινάμε την μεγάλη τεσσαρακοστή. Αυτήν την πόρτα περνάμε ώστε να ξεκινήσουμε νηστεία αύριο. Απόψε αδελφοί λοιπόν με αυτό το απλό πράγμα, αυτό το απλό φαινόμενο, απλό αλλά δύσκολο της συγνώμης μας ανοίγει η Εκκλησία το στάδιο των αρετών της Μεγάλης Τεσσαρακοστής. Η κατανικτική αυτή περίοδος μετάνοιας προσφέρεται ως τρόπος ζωής. Ας συγχωρέσουμε ο ένας τον άλλον. Η συγχώρεση αρχίζει τη στιγμή που παίρνουμε στους ώμους μας αλλήλων τα βάρη. Και το πρώτο και βαρύτερο φορτίο είναι η προσωπικότητα του άλλου. Αυτού που δεν αντέχουμε. Αυτό που εκείνος είναι. Και όχι μόνο αυτό που κάνει ή δεν κάνει. Αν χρειαστεί αδελφοί, ας μεταφέρουμε τον άλλον με τον τρόπο που ο Χριστός μετέφερε τον Σταυρό Του. Ας κουβαλήσουμε δηλαδή τον άλλον που δεν τον αντέχουμε στον ώμο μας σαν τον Σταυρό που κουβάλισε ο Χριστός. Σαν τύπο βασανισμού και πόνου και θανάτου. Ας μην αφήσουμε όμως με κανέναν τρόπο τον άλλο πίσω χωρίς την συγνώμη μας. Αμήν. Brothers and sisters, the sermon in English will be given at the end. Thank you for your patience. Όπως υπό του κράτου σου πάντοτε φυλατόμενοι εις ειδόξαν αναπέμπομεν το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύματι νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Ή τα χαίρομαι με στεκός εικονίες όνας για τη
Precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Υπέρ του Αγίου οίκου τούτου και των μεταπίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού ουσιόντων εν αυτό του Κυρίου δεϊθόμεν. For our deliverance from all affliction, anger, danger and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της ηχαρητή. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant peace, O Lord. Άγγελον ειρήνης, πιστών οδηγών, φυλακά των ψυχών και των σωμάτων ημών, παρά του Κυρίου ετισόμεθα. Παράσχου Κύριε. 
For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Τα καλά και συμφέροντα τες ψυχές ημών και ειρήνη το κόσμο παρά του Κυρίου ετισόμεθα. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Χριστιανά τα τέλη της ζωής ημών, ανώδυνα ανεπέσχυντα ειρηνικά και καλήν απολογίαν την επί του φοβερού βήματος του Χριστού ετισόμεθα. Bringing to mind our all holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy, you accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Even so, accept from us sinners our supplication and bring it to your holy altar of sacrifice. Make us sufficient to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices, both for our own misdeeds and those committed in ignorance by the people. Deem us worthy to find grace in your sight, that our sacrifice may be well-pleasing to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may rest upon us and upon these gifts presented and upon all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, and your all holy, good and life giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your Spirit. Let us be loving to one another, that with oneness of mind we may proclaim. Guard the doors, in wisdom let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, through him all things were made, who for us and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became human and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and rose on the third day according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end and in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, and who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well. Let us stand with reverence. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. Amen. A sacrifice of <coughs> praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and it is proper and right to hymn you, to bless you, to praise you, to give thanks to you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. For you, O God, are ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever, forever the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of non-being to being, and when we had fallen away, you raised us up again, 
you left nothing undone until you had led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom which is to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all things we know and do not know, for blessings manifest or hidden that have been bestowed upon us. We thank you also for this liturgy which you have deigned to receive from our hands, even though thousands of archangels and myriads of angels attend you, the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft upon their wings, singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord of Savoir, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Together with these blessed powers, benevolent Master, we also exclaim and say, Holy are you and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and most holy, and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. When he had come and fulfilled for our sake the entire plan of salvation, on the night in which was delivered up, or rather when he delivered himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure and blameless hands, and giving thanks and blessing, he hallowed and broke it and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. And likewise the cup after supper, saying, Drink from it, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Amen. Please kneel. Remembering therefore this saving commandment and everything that was done for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascent into the heavens, the seating at the right hand and the second and glorious coming again. Your own, from your own, we offer you in every way and for everything. We praise you. We bless you. We give thanks to you. offer you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood and we beseech and pray and entreat you send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts he presented and make this bread the precious body of your Christ Amen. and what is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ Amen. changing them by your Holy Spirit Amen. 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 so that there may be for those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, remission of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fullness of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not for judgment or condemnation. We offer you this spiritual worship for those who have reposed in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit perfected in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary. Truly it is right to call you
spiritual worship for the whole world, for the holy, catholic and apostolic church, and for those living modest and reverent lives, for our civil authorities, grant that they may govern in peace, O Lord, so that in tranquility we too may live calm and serene lives in all piety and virtue. Among the first, remember, Lord, our Archbishop Makarios, grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honour and health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those whom each of us has in mind, and all men and all women. And all men and all women. Remember, Lord, your holy great church, our sacred archdiocese, this city in which we live, and every city and country, and the believers who live in them. Remember, Lord, those who are travelling by land, a sea and air. Remember those who are sick, suffering or captive, and their salvation. Remember those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches, and those who are mindful of the poor, and upon us all send forth your mercies and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honourable and majestic name, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. And the mercies of our great God and Saviour Jesus Christ will be with you all. And with your spirit. Having brought to mind all the saints, Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for the mercy. precious gifts he presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our benevolent God, having accepted and made his holy, celestial and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord have mercy. Having asked the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, our Lord. We entrust to you, benevolent Master, our whole life and hope, and we beseech, pray and implore you, grant us to partake of your heavenly and awesome sacraments from this sacred and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of sins, the forgiveness of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, and confidence before you not unto judgment or condemnation. And grant us, Master, with confidence and without condemnation, to dare call upon you the heavenly God as Father and to say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Pate limon, o endis oranis, aiascito to onomasu, el teto e vasiliensu, mienicito to celimasu, o sen urano que epidisis, donar to nimon to nepiusion, do simin simeron, que afesimin to ofilimata imon, o sque mi safimin tis ofilete simon, que mi sen engisimas ispirasmon, Ότι σου έστεινε η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο, νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Ειρήνη πάση και το πνεύμα τη σου. Τα σκεφαλά σημών το κύριο κλείνουμε. We give thanks to you, invisible King, who by your boundless power fashioned the universe and in the multitude of your mercy brought all things from non-being into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bowed their heads before you, for they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all whatever lies ahead, according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who are traveling, heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion and love for humankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, 
and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Hear us, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from your holy dwelling place, and from the throne of glory of your kingdom, and come to sanctify us, you who are enthroned with the Father up high and are present among us invisibly here, and with your mighty hand grant communion of your most pure body and precious blood to us and through us to all the people. Let us be attentive, the holy gifts are for the holy. So that 
I believe, Lord, and I confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is indeed your pure body, and this is indeed your precious blood. I ask you, therefore, have mercy on me, and forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge and in ignorance, and make me worthy, uncondemned, to partake of your pure mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins and eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach for Holy Communion. Maker, burn me, not as I partake, for you are fire burning the unworthy, but cleanse me from every impurity. Of your mystical supper, Son of God, receive me today as a partaker, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies. I will not kiss you as did Judas, but as the thief do I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, mortal, as you behold the deifying blood, for it is a burning coal consuming the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, Christ, and by your divine love you have changed me. But consume my sins with immaterial fire, and make me worthy to be filled with delight in you, that leaping for joy, gracious one, I may magnify your first and second comings. Into the splendor of your saints, how shall I, the unworthy one, enter? For if I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my clothing betrays me, for it is not a wedding garment, and I shall be bound and cast out by the angels. Cleanse the defilement of my soul, Lord, and save me in your loving kindness. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to me for judgment through my unworthiness, but for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and as a pledge of the life and kingdom to come. For it is good for me to cling to God and to place in the Lord the hope of my salvation. On, on, on. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. Oh, 
Save, O Lord, your people, and bless your inheritance. Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouth be filled with praise, Lord, that we may sing of your glory, for you have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your holiness as all the day we meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah. Having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, life-giving, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us properly give thanks to the Lord. Mm, Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We give thanks to you, benevolent Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy <coughs> of your heavenly and immortal sacraments. Make straight our path, fortify us in reverence of you. 
God our life, make secure our steps through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification and to you we offer up glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to those in authority and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And to you we offer up glory, thanksgiving and worship, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. No Blessed be the name of the Lord from now and forevermore. Blessing and mercy of the Lord come upon you by his divine grace and love for humanity, always, now, and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all pure and blameless Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing ancestors, of the holy, great martyr George, the trophy-bearer, the patron of this church, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Yochimanana, and of our holy father, Paisios of the holy mountain, the patron and protector of Australia, and of the saints of the day, our Holy Father Alexios, the man of God, and the holy martyr Pavlos, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us as a good and loving God. Viefchon ton Agion Pateron imon, Kyrie Iesu Christe o Theos, eleison ke soson Please be seated for the sermon and then the announcements. My dear friends, the church believes that the present form of this world is passing away. And we get that from the first letter to the Corinthians chapter 7. And as such, we look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. That's what we say in our creed. That the world, its ways, our time in this world is passing. And we look forward to bigger and better things. We look forward to Christ coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead who wants to include us all into his kingdom. And his kingdom has been prepared for the, from the foundation of the world, the Gospel of Matthew chapter 25. God's kingdom 
is eternal life. It bestows the possibility for people to know the Father through the Son, to become children of God, receiving the spiritual gift of adoption, to have fellowship with Christ in the mysteries of the church and through our fellow human beings, and to leave behind all corruption, all sin, and even humanity's ultimate enemy, which is death. But unfortunately, God's kingdom will not include all people. Life in proximity to God comes as a result of something, of a person's free choice. You can reject the kingdom of God. And therefore, the kingdom of God will not include all people. There are presuppositions. There are conditions. And there are and there will continue to be people who will not accept the gift that is offered. As we read in the Gospel of the Last Judgment on Meet Fair Sunday last week, there are three criteria for participating in God's kingdom. Love towards our brothers and sisters, which reflects love for Christ himself, kindness, and righteousness according to God. Our love for our brothers and sisters is expressed through the deeds that we do in our life. And because I know that every time we say the word deeds or works, people from certain denominations will instantly jump up and down. Yes, we are justified by faith alone. But we are saved through faith and works. That's what the Bible says. Justified by faith alone is one thing. In other words, your works don't justify you. That's correct. We subscribe to that. But that doesn't mean you reject good deeds, which is the conclusion they come to. You don't have to do good deeds, perhaps. But faith and works work together in order for salvation to happen. They confuse the word justification or they confound it with salvation. The Bible clearly says justification by faith alone. Salvation is a bigger picture. It's based on faith. That's the first step. And without faith, you can't get anywhere with your good deeds, yes. But they do work together. <clears throat> One of the typical questions that concerns us in our daily life is what we have to gain through our relationships with others. If we are to receive something, then we are more likely to relate with them more easily. The question that we are usually not ready to consider is, what do we have to give others? We only look at what can I get from others. I love you because you love me. I respond to you positively because you give me positivity. And if you don't, I shut you out of my life. But we never think, what do I have to give to others? How willing are we, instead of acting based on our own benefit, to consider what will benefit the other? That is why we easily leave aside anyone who does not have something to give us. This attitude also touches upon our relationship with God. We usually act selfishly. 
and we constantly think about what does God have to give me? I want health. I want progress. I want material progress, material prosperity. So when the time comes for God through his commandments to call upon us to take some specific forms of action in order to show that we want the relationship with him, we wonder if it is as all, if it is at all necessary. We only think of our relationship with God as one of give and take. In our times, my dear friends, when the worldly mentality makes the rhythm of our life seem incongruent with the possibility of seeking God, periods such as Great Lent, which we begin tonight, become a problem in our head. What will I gain from fasting? What will I get from it? Before answering this question, it is worth noting, as we are reminded by the Gospel reading today, Cheese Fair Sunday, the presuppositions with which we are invited to fast. The first presupposition is the combination of fasting with forgiveness. Fasting together with forgiveness. If it's just fasting and there's no forgiveness, we are far from our reward, as said Jesus in today's Gospel. Fasting is a path that leads towards two directions. The first has to do with the physical dimension, our ability to renounce our desire to eat anything or everything, and the choice of foods that shows our disposition to obey the guideline that the church gives for fasting. And the second has to do with the spiritual dimension. Nothing to do with physical. We fast so as to practice relinquishing that right to ask others to fulfill our desires or to behave as we expect or as we treat them. Christ asks us to combine the renunciation of our first right to eat whatever we want with the renunciation of the second to expect others to behave the way we want them to. And that is why he defines forgiveness as the condition for us to receive the wages of our fasting. When you fast, said Jesus, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so that their fasting may be seen by other people. Truly I say to you, they are far from their reward. And just let me digress for a second, because all English translations have the following here. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. The original Greek is much clearer at this point. Amin lego imin oti apechusi ton miston afton. Apecho. Echo is I have. Apecho is I don't have. Echo is I gain. Apecho is I forfeit. Every single English translation on this specific word translates apechusi as echusi. And miss a negation of the word. Took me a few years, by the way. So the proper translation, which makes more sense, is this. When you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces, so that the fasting may seem by other people. Truly I say to you, they are far from their reward. That makes so much more sense. 
Sometimes it's good to look at the original. Let's move on. The second presupposition for fasting is the association of fasting and spiritual exercise, ascesis, with humility. And at the same time, with the rejection of an ostentatious predisposition, pride and hypocrisy. Fasting is for God, not for showing off to other people. We have no need of other people's praise, nor of the fixation of their interest upon us. How often, and some of us it's just a way of life, are we driven by what other people think of us? The spiritual life, my dear friends, is the mystical relationship that develops between us human persons and God and should be experienced in obscurity, unseen, not to be seen, not to be obvious. Jesus gives us this presupposition. When you fast, anoint your head, wash your face, that your fasting may not be seen by other people, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. So, my dear friends, this obscurity, this I'm here but I'm not visible, is a very Christian thing. It is a stage in our spiritual life which each of us is called to strive to respond to God's call to love and to commune with him. And that is why the joy of such spiritual exercise and struggle is internal and heartfelt. It's not an act. If people recognise spiritual labour and glorify those who struggle, then the wages have been given away and God does not need to provide us anything since we get the tick of approval from other people. The third presupposition is the integration of fasting and the spiritual life with the entire life of the human person. Fasting is not an extraordinary event, nor does it need formalities. This means that we do not feel that we are changing our lives during a certain period and that for the rest of the year we live far away from God. Fasting now for 40 days teaches us what to do for the rest of the year. The 300 and... My maths is bad. The 325 days. Sorry, there are maths teachers among us. Fasting is a continuous today on the path towards eternal life. So what do we fast from? We start with food. We move on to our passions, our pathologies, from malice, from the rejection of fellow human beings, from our self-centeredness, from concern only for this world. This is the daily struggle of every Christian, daily struggle, not just Sundays, not just for 40 days before Easter, Lent. That's why when we enter this season, it should not scare us. We should embrace it and say, I'm going to make this happen. You make a decision. You resolve to do this. Christ asks us to determine where the treasure of life is for each of us. Because there our hearts will be also. We therefore must gain the blessing of obedience to God and his will, the ability to be reconciled to our neighbour for all that they are not and for all with which they have not provided us, but also to understand that our relationship with God gives us forgiveness. Practising fasting and spiritual effort for our time 
is not a self-evident activity. But if we live and feel the blessing of being Christians, the wages of fasting may be our initial motivation, but we do need to move on. As we advance forward, we feel and we will feel that being close to God our Father and to the life of the church, that this transcends the logic of reward. It's not reward-based. Just as a child rejoices in loving and trusting his parents, so a child rejoices in becoming a child of God. And fasting is a means to this end and not an end in itself. Amen. <clears throat> As you've gathered, brothers and sisters, tonight we're kicking off with Lent, with the Vespers of Forgiveness. That will take place in only one church here in Sydney, the Cathedral of the Annunciation at Redfern. All the hierarchs, that is bishops, priests, and deacons will be in attendance of Sydney, and you are welcome to be in attendance 7 p.m. this evening at the cathedral in Redfern. We usher in Lent with forgiveness. Tomorrow is Clean Monday, Cathara Deftera. And as is custom, in order to switch your mentality from your normality, to switch from the comfort of your home and what's available in your fridge, it is custom for hundreds of years to go out of the, of the home, go out into the fields. In the case of villages, people would go out into the fields in order to switch into Lent, to switch into Saracosti. And they would take fasting foods, strict fasting foods with them, no meat, no dairy, and tomorrow specifically no oil involved in the cooking or food, purely plant food, and that way you get into this mental change. Now what we're doing tomorrow is an excursion to uh, the entrance in the central coast, and the bus is full. So if you're not attending uh, with the bus, please consider how you can mentally switch into Lent, and uh, next year, please be quicker on booking your tickets to our excursion. The bus will be leaving at 7 a.m. for those who have bought their tickets from the front of the church. We will head to St. Karalambos Church at Tagora for some prayers to kick off the day, and then we will move on to the entrance for a mistissimo lunch before we come back home. On Wednesday, we have pre-sanctified liturgy, 6 p.m. Please pick up the schedule from the front to know the exact times of all our services in the coming weeks. But essentially, it will be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 6 p.m. every single time. There is an exception to that, and that is this week. On Friday, our first salutation service will happen at 4.30 p.m. here in our church, as a centenary concert has been organised at the Sydney Town Hall, and that is free entry. That will be at 6.30pm, and you are invited to be in attendance to both the service here in our church, but also to the concert at the Sydney Town Hall. The concert is in honour and memory of all the people and pioneers who established the church here in Australia, as we are celebrating the centenary of the, Archdi the establishment of the Archdiocese of Australia. Pick up this flyer for the details. It'll be an orchestral and choral um, concert directed by Leon Vitoyanis. Next Sunday, being the first Sunday of Lent, is Sunday of Orthodoxy, and we invite you to bring your favourite icon to church as we will be doing an icon procession around the church. Next Sunday, we are also doing the Greek National Day Parade in the city. 
We'll have church in the morning as usual, 1 p.m. at Martin Place, and then we will parade down to the Opera House where uh, very dancing, entertainment and speeches will take place all the way to about 3.30 or 4 o'clock. The students of our schools are... We'll, we have a bus organised for the students of our school. They will be given first preference on entry to the bus, a 50-seater bus. You are welcome to line up for the bus next Sunday if you wish to attend into the city, but it will be the first people to fill up the seats. We'll only fill up the bus and then, unfortunately, um, not obviously set aside people. Morning tea is being served in the hall this morning. You are all welcome to attend. And for the elderly, a couple of these in Greek. Αύριο καθαρά Δευτέρα η εκδρομή θα φύγει από την Εκκλησία, από το Ναό, 7 η ώρα το πρωί. Μην αργήσετε, θα φύγουμε χωρίς εσάς εάν αργήσετε. Την Τετάρτη, προγιασμένη Θεία Λειτουργία, 6 η ώρα. Την Παρασκευή, 4.30 ώρα, η πρώτη χαιρετισμή. Αντιθέτως προς το τι βάλαμε στο πρόγραμμα, διότι οργανώθηκε ένα κονσέρτο εις μνήμην και τιμήν των προτεργατών της Εκκλησίας της Αυστραλίας, εφόσον γιορτάζουμε τα 100 χρόνια, και θα γίνει κονσέρτο στο Δημαρχείο του Σίδνεϊ, στο George Street, μέσα στην πόλη, 6.30 ώρα το βράδυ. Την επόμενη Κυριακή έχουμε Κυριακή της Ορθοδοξίας. Θα φέρετε εικόνα για να κάνουμε την περιφορά των εικόνων. Αμέσως μετά θα έχουμε λεωφορείο το οποίο θα πάει στην πόλη για τα παιδιά του σχολείου. Είσαστε ευπρόσδεκτοι να μπείτε στη γραμμή, θα μπουν πρώτα τα παιδιά στο λεωφορείο και όσες θέσεις παραμείνουν θα μπορείτε να μπείτε όσοι μπείτε πρώτοι. Θα το κάνουμε βέβαια με πολύ σεβασμό, χωρίς ε, ακαταστασία και αταξία και όσοι μπουν στο λεωφορείο και χωρέσουν ε, ώστε να πάμε στην πόλη για τις μία η ώρα στο Martin Place και ύστερα στο Opera House όπου θα γίνουν οι εκδηλώσεις της 25ης Μαρτίου. Και τέλος όλοι ευπρόσδεκτοι στο πρωινό κέρασμα στην αίθουσα της Εκκλησίας. Please come up the middle for the antidoro and thank you for your patience.